Hello and welcome to today's episode of uh, Toastmasters Pathways, tips to get the most out of your Toastmasters uh, experience in three minutes or less. Today's Pathways topic is the little known external training. Now external training is the, the platform of how you take your Pathways project outside the club. You might take it to your work, you might take it to your community group, you might take it to a, a even a different Toastmasters club or project management group of some course. So as always, we start by going into the Toastmasters platform. I'm in the correct club that I that I use. I then go right to my transcript. From here, you'll see this ellipsis, which is the uh, the options, and I'm going to select that. Right here, I have external training. Now, this is a pretty straightforward fill-in form and talks about how you're going to complete the assignment. Uh, very simply, I will describe my, assi my assignment uh, for the transcript in one sentence or less. I will then describe my plan step by step. There might be three steps, there might be four steps, but I will describe my plan for completing this assignment. Next, I'm going, of course, I'm going to specify who I'm going to present this to, a specific uh, work group, maybe a community group, uh, maybe a, a different Toastmasters group where I, I want this to, to, to stand out to make sense. And then, of course, I'm going to select the start and completion dates. Start date is typically when you've decided you're going to do this and you're starting to gather the materials. It might be October 1st, might be October 15th, whatever date you decide to actually start pulling stuff together. The end date is typically when you're going to present this for uh, final uh, approval, for the final rollout, and you will choose that date here. Since this is uh, for credit for Toastmasters Pathways, I will select my path. In this particular case, I'm going to select Presentation Master because that's where I'm working in. And since I'm going to be uh, communicating a or describing a change, I will go ahead and use Communicate Change. I could use uh, Cross-Cultural Understanding or, or any of these here, but I'm the one that fits the most is communicate change. I'm going to describe where I'm going to go outside of Toastmasters. That's what I will select. And this is what's most important. I'm If I'm going to use PowerPoint, I'll put the drop PowerPoint slides in here. I'll put the outline that I'm going to use. Any timelines and calendars, I'll put that in there. And of course, any uh, handouts that I will be sharing with the people that are going to be um, part of the uh, presentation group. And lastly, of course, I will then submit. And from here, I'm back at my transcript, which what that means is the is my external training outline has gone to the Basecamp manager. Basecamp manager will look at that and say, hey, Max, great idea. He or she will sign off on it. And I'm off to the races with an external training that makes the most out of my Pathways experience. Uh, my name again is Max Lopez. I am VP of Education for Honeywell Toastmasters here in Houston, Texas. Have yourself a great day and hope this helps.